In this lesson, I'll show you how to calculate permutations of duplicate items. Let's start with a bit of theory. The number of permutations of n items, where p items are identical, q items are identical, r items are identical, and so on, is given by the following formula, where we have n factorial over p factorial, q factorial, and r factorial, and so on. The first question reads, in how many distinct ways can the letters of the word Mississippi be arranged? Let's start by counting the amount of letters that this word contains. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. So n is equal to 11. Using this, we can apply it to our expression, 11 factorial over. And now we have to count how many repeating letters there are. Starting with m, there's only one m, so I'll write down 1 factorial. That's equal to 1, so technically you don't even need to write 1 factorial. Moving on to i, 1, 2, 3, 4, 4 factorial. s, 1, 2, 3, 4, 4 s's. And p's, there are two of those. You can use your calculator or you can do this by hand. It's up to you. So let's use our calculator for convenience. We have 11 factorial divided by 4 factorial times 4 factorial times 2 factorial gives us 34,650 permutations. 34,650. Let's move on to question number 2. Melanie is laying out tiles for the edge of a mosaic. How many patterns can she make if she uses 4 yellow tiles and 1 of each blue, green, red, and gray tiles? So we have 4 plus 1, 2, 3, 4. That's 8 n is equal to 8. Setting up our expression, 8 factorial over 4 yellows and 1 of each. Now, we don't need to write down 1 factorial for each of these, so our answer is 8 factorial over 4 factorial. Using our calculator, 8 factorial divided by 4 factorial, that gives us 1,680 permutations, or in other words, 1,800 different patterns with these 8 tiles. The next question is similar to what we did in question one. The question reads, the word bookkeeper is unusual in that it has three consecutive double letters. How many permutations are there of the letters in bookkeeper? So let's count how many letters. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. 10 factorial. And now, starting with B, that's only one of those. There's two O's, two K's. 3 E's, 1 P and 1 R. Using our calculator, 10 factorial divided by 2 factorial times 2 factorial times 3 factorial, giving us 151,200 permutations. 1, 5, 1, 200. Lastly, in question number four, we're asked, Barbara is hanging a display of clothing imprinted with the school's crest on a line on a wall in the cafeteria. She has five sweatshirts, three t-shirts, and four pairs of sweatpants. In how many ways can Barbara arrange the display? Now, if you count all of these clothing items, we have 12. That's our n value. We have five sweatshirts, five factorial three t-shirts and four sweatpants. So three factorial times four factorial. Using our calculator, you should end up with 27,720. Therefore, Barbara can arrange the display in 27,720 different ways. And there you have it. That is how to calculate permutations of duplicate items.